Hello and welcome back to Codeplay. So continuing on with the series creating voxel chunks in Unreal Engine using blueprints. Uh, we, in the last episode we implemented the create face and the get face vertices function. So by the end of it we were able to create cubes anywhere in the world we want or we, you can create faces also. So in this episode we'll be going over like creating the noise map since we don't want cubes we want proper chunk generation so we'll be generating noise maps using the fast noise plugin so again if you don't have the fast noise plugin installed just search in the marketplace for fng or the fast noise generator it's free you can add it so we'll go over that but and we'll be doing most of like the whole of the noise generation thing in the construction script so i'll basically break this pin here and i will do a sequence node Okay, and we'll basically need three things. So the first pin will go to our noise generation. The second one will be going to our mesh building and the third one will be going to our rendering. Or you can remove this third one and use this completed, but uh, we'll be changing our mesh building logic in the ne next episodes so that we'll be able to create proper voxel meshes rather than just cubes. But for now, we'll be just focusing over the first sequence that would be generating our uh, basically filling our chunk block data with the noise uh, height map that's generated so the first thing we'll do is get our blocks data okay and we'll resize it and we'll resize it to uh, three times the size of our chunk so we'll get our size we'll multiply this by an integer and resize this to this value so currently I have my size set to 16 so the resize value would be 4096 and that's what our array will be resized to and it's a good practice to do the resize if you know the length of the array um, at compile time only that way Unreal Engine won't have to increase or allocate more memory to array at runtime so it gives a slight performance boost so once we have done the resize, we'll be constructing the fast noise wrapper. So construct, uh, I'll just search for fast noise wrapper. Okay, it's not showing it up. Okay, we'll try to construct object from class and we'll select the class fast noise wrapper and the outer thing can be self okay so this will basically add the fast noise wrapper to the current blueprint object and once we have that this we can set it up we can call setup noise setup fast noise okay uh, so the setup fast noise takes in quite a lot of values but you don't need to change anything like the defaults are good enough but these basically affect how the height map is generated so you can play around with these and you'll get different results you can change the noise type so i like to go with the Perlin noise the seed you can change frequency will change how rocky or smooth the terrain is and other things also uh, you can change like we can have quintic interpolation or linear anything you want so you can have these values exposed as variables or you can just leave them as default and I'll leave it at that. So next what we'll need to do is two for loops. That would be our X and Y for loop. Not the for each loop. For loop. And we'll duplicate this. And the last index would be one minus the size. So we'll take our size and subtract one out of it. And this would be the last index. Since uh, the Unreal Engine for loops uh, run inclusive of the last index, uh, by subtracting this to be one, the last index would be 15. And the loop will run from zero to 15. So that would be 16 iterations. So we will complete this, uh, connect this execution pins here. So we have two nested for loops here and what we are going to do is take that index and multiply that by 100. So we'll multiply it by an integer and that would be 100. Okay, uh, the Unreal in Unreal works in centimeters. So 
I want my blocks to be one meter by one meter. So the difference in their positions would be by 100. So that's why I'm multiplying both X and Y by 100. So again, I'll multiply this. I'll just copy this node. Okay. And with this, I have multiplied this by both. Next, we'll get the actor location. Since we want our chunk height map to be affected by its world position. So we'll get actor location. Okay. And we'll split the structure. And what we'll do is add these values to these integers. So we'll basically do an integer addition and add x so rather than doing this as truncation we'll convert the integers to float because we'll be multiplying by scale for proper noise so we'll do an add okay and we'll be adding the to the y value also z value is something that we won't be messing around with since we'll be generating the z value on our own and this will convert these to floats the reason I want X and Y to be float is now we'll be multiplying them by a scale value. So this scale won't be the chunk scale, but this would be the noise scale. If you pass in integral values to the noise input, it behaves weirdly. So it's better you multiply this by some small number. Um, 0 0.15 works pretty nice. Or you can even have this number as a variable on this and you can customize this so this basically changes the scale like if you consider the noise as a 2d image so how zoomed in it would be will depend on the scale okay with this out of the way we'll again take the return value of the wrapper okay and we'll call get noise 2d you can even do 3d noise so that's a bit advanced but we'll be using 2d noise here and this would be exhibited in the loop body of our inner for loop. Oh, let me just open the for loop macros. And we'll pass in the x and y values. Okay. So with this, we'll get a return value, which will be our z value. And this value will be between minus 1 and 1. But we want this to be a positive value only. And that 2 till 16. So we'll be doing some conversion. So we'll add one to it. So now the value is between zero to two since this it has been shifted. Next we'll divide this by two. So float and we'll be dividing this by two. Now the value would be between uh, zero and one. And finally we'll multiply this by our size. So we'll do an integer to float multiplication and We'll be getting, we'll get our sides again here. Okay. So now the value will be between uh, 0 and 16. So I'll just go over it. We get a value between minus 1 and 1 from get noise 2D. Then we shift it. Uh, and the value is between 0 and 2 by adding 1 to it. Then we divide it by 2. So the value is between 0 and 1. And finally, we multiply it by size. So the final value would be between. Uh, 0 and 16 so it would be a float value what we'll do is truncate it so now it will be an integral value between 0 and 16 you can even see what it does okay so finally with this out of the way what we'll do is we'll run another for loop so we'll get this out here and we'll copy this for loop actually and the second for loop will run on the completion of the first one and the first for loops first index would be zero and the last index would be the z value that we generated and the second for loops first value would be the z value and the last index would be our size minus one so where do we have that we'll just get this here again and yeah so this for loop will fill the blocks array with stone blocks that are the opaque blocks and this for loop will fill the remaining the rest of the chunk with air blocks so that we get our transparent blocks also so 
next thing we need to do is filling our blocks array and we have the x y and z values for our blocks but uh, what we need is uh, the block index since our blocks array is a one dimensional array now we'll be implementing this get block index uh, function so this will again be a pure function since it won't be modifying anything on the member variables so first thing we'll have is a position and this can be an int vector int as an search int vector and what it will output be an index and this would be an integer so i'll just split this structure pin here and we'll get our size also so we'll be inputting three x <coughs> sorry we'll be inputting three x y and z values and finally we'll be getting a index between 0 and 4096 and to do that uh, what we'll do is i'll multiply by x by my size I'll multiply my z also by two uh, size two times. So I'll add another pin and connect size to both. Finally, I'll do an addition node, and this will add my x, y, and z values. So this is again basically saying that uh, this. Is but I first move along the y axis, then along the x axis, and then along the z axis. So, this way, these three positions correspond to a one dimensional array, and I basically return this. With this, uh, I can enter x, y, z values and I can get a block index. So, again, back in the construction script, in the loop body, uh, we'll be calling get block index, and I'll just split this in here also and I'll copy paste it since both of the loop bodies will need it and my z value is from here only now actually uh, the z value is the index of this loop so I'll just connect these back here okay and my x and y values are the index of these loops that's the x that's the y again this is the x and this is the y with this out of the way we'll get the blocks array again and we'll call set array element and we'll call duplicate this node also and i'll save this as the target array and the loop body of each of these we'll be setting this and the index will be the corresponding get block index and the first loop will set them as a stone blocks and the second loop will set them as air blocks yeah and with that we have basically finished our noise map generation so there isn't anything that i'll be able to show you visually like showing whether this works or not in the next episode we'll be going over mesh building and after that you will be able to see the noise map generation is working so I'll just get, go over it once since it's a bit complicated. So the first thing we do is resize our blocks array to three times the size, like uh, size size cube basically. Then we construct our fast noise wrapper, and we call the setup fast noise where we get the noise where we give the noise properties. Then we have two for loops which run from zero to size minus one. Again, the Unreal loop is inclusive of the last index, so these both will run 16 times. We take the index, multiply it by 100, and convert them to floats, and also add the actor's location. Then we multiply the final value by the scale value, which is 0 0.15. Again, this could be a variable on the blueprint. And then we pass these to get noise 2D. This will return a Z value between minus 1 and 1. So we basically shift it. 0 to 2 divided by 2 so the value is between 0 and 1 and we multiply it by a size so the value is between 0 and 16 and we truncate the float value so at the end this value will actually be between 0, 0 and 15 with 15 inclusive and then we run two for loops these are not nested loops but uh, they are sequentially called one and after 
the first for loop runs from 0 to the truncated value that we get and the next second for loop runs from the truncated value to the size minus 1 and with this we basically fill up the array with the uh, first for loop we fill the blocks with the value of stone and with the second for loop we fill the blocks with the value of air so we have some opaque blocks and some transparent blocks and to get the block index we use this get block index function which basically multiplies x y and z position and adds them to convert three int values to a single index and that's all for this video and i hope you like it if you have any suggestions please leave them down below in the comments and do share it with your friends it really helps me out and in the next episode we'll be going over the mesh building part and it would be the last episode of the series since after that you'll be able to create your chunks and do whatever and expand it further so i may do a, another episode regarding what further can be done with this system and how you can optimize it and all but it will just be a talk i won't be showing anything so that's it for today thank you